So this video is just a quick tour of the greenhouses at the moment. Um, sorry there's not been many videos, I've just been really busy at the moment. Okay, so here we have greenhouse one. This is probably the most full greenhouse. Um, it is chock-a-block. Um, so we start down here. I have my elephant's ears in this tub. Um, I got one leaf off of it last year, and it looks like it's picking up two. Um, these are all my dahlias um, they're doing really well I think every single tuber has sprouted or I can see the eyes just starting to sprout I've taken um, a few cuttings Let's see, there's one of them um, as soon as some of the, the sprouts get a bit bigger I'll be taking some more um, some tomatoes and squash down there these up here, these are all veggies. Um, so there's chilies, squash, corn. Um, I think that's pretty much it at the moment for there. I think they're all corn, squash, chilies, and tomatoes. Um, my red cabbages. And right at the back, I have some sprouts. And then moving down here, um, tomatoes, some cauliflowers, some more corn, some more squash. <laughs> um, same there, there's my chrysanthemums. Um, I need to prick them out, but I'm just not 100% sure when. I need to double check that. I think they might be ready for pinching out already. Um, but I'm I'm waiting. I'm not putting them in the ground until at least the end of May, maybe the beginning of June. Um, beans. These are dwarf beans. I can't remember the variety. I've got three different varieties of dwarf beans. Um, I've got pumpkins, hops. Um, some one two that desperately need to get in the ground some more cauliflowers yeah and that is that for that greenhouse so let's go look at greenhouse number two we'll stop by the pond little fishes just beginning to wake up Okay, greenhouse number two. Um, there's more packed in here, I think, than the last greenhouse. Um, I recently gave this a bit of a an organisation. Um, nowhere near as much as what's in the first greenhouse, but still. This is um, my plot neighbours' veggies. They had a bit of a disaster with the polytunnel um, and so I ran and rescued what I could. Fortunately there's quite a lot of damage but it looks like yeah, they've got a few things that have survived. Um, that tomato looks good, it's nice and strong. Um, so for me, here I have a real mix. There's cosmos, yarrow, stock, nasturtiums, um, some calistephus in there, um, some rebecca, some honeywort, um, over here, some flax, some little baby Japanese anemones, um, sweet peas, more calendula, or calendula, <laughs> um, 
some more stocks, some more Calistephas, some Potentilla. And then this is just a hodgepodge mix of stuff. Got some poppies, some cornflowers, more stocks. Um, this is my little baby Love and a Puff vine. Um, some straw flowers, some marigolds there. Um, some Rebecca, some Callistephus, and some Delia seedlings. And moving down, the sturgeons are doing really well. I'm really pleased with them. Some more stocks, some more flax. That nasturtium's not doing too well. I'm hoping it perks up. Um, there's some cosmos, some delphinium. Um, I haven't done well with delphinium this year, which is a surprise because last year I had um, great success having delphinium in the garden. And then down here, um, some more can do that. Um, Delia seedlings uh, in there somewhere. I've got some Labada. Um, some more stocks, some more Cosmos. Um, these are I cannot pronounce the botanical name, but they're my poor man's orchids. Um, they badly need pricked out, so that is a job that needs to be done soon. Um, I do have some snaps they're in the last greenhouse um and i do have some zinnias but um they're still the seeds because i had a disaster where i was hardening off my zinnias and i accidentally forgot about them and they all died <laughs> the frost literally killed every single one of them yep which was absolutely devastating but it is a lovely sunny early morning um so i'm going to do some watering and then a bit later i will show you the last greenhouse okay and so the last greenhouse is actually around my garden and um, this one's a bit more of a mess um, there's a lot going on in here. Um, so growing wise, I have um, some sunflowers, some calistephus, some more dahlia seedlings. At the back I've got mint, basil, um, a mix of different perennials, some more sunflowers, some beans and tomatoes at the back, geraniums, um, these are my snaps, they're very behind. I've had a real disaster with my snapdragons. Um, I'll do a separate video on them. And down here, I've got beans, um, some very leggy sunflowers, unfortunately, um, some lupins, some more beans, um, some calistephus. I'm starting to put together summer hanging baskets. Um, Dianthus, things in there, some squash, some tomatoes, and everything's falling over. Um, some more tomatoes, some leeks, and one stray cauliflower back there. Um, I had a disaster with my zinnias as well, so I've just sown some more, um, and my nicotina, so that's there. And these are my only surviving on the Zianthus. Um, I've decided I won't be doing Lysianthus again. I'm just going to buy plug plants. Um, it's just, it's so much time and effort um, and money spent on something that is just so difficult to grow. Um, when there's like a hundred other things that I could be growing. Um, here, there's some more zinnias. Um, let me go down here. Beans some things that didn't grow, <laughs> some more sunflowers, and over here, some plug plants, some cooking melons, and yeah, 
that's it the rest of it is just mess and rubbish behind me and that is the last greenhouse 